Hello guys, how are you? Welcome again. I remember you my name is Teacher Gonzalo and I'm going to be your English teacher for this topic. It's great to see you again, so let's keep learning. Now, I'm pretty minimalistic in my background, so you can put attention to the next topic that we are going to see. Well, I've been noticed that these days you have been uh, seeing action groups. Is that right? Well, we are going to continue with action verbs, but now apply to hobbies and free times. But also, we're going to talk about English expressions. You're gonna love it. So let me make you an introduction about uh, things we're gonna see today, and the topic is vocabulary. Well, most people have a hobby. S some of my friends like to collect things uh, others play uh, an instrument in a musical group or other grow their own vegetables. Um, my hobbies and my interest are football and I really like also playing soccer. Sometimes when my nephew is around we like to do some paintings, you know? But there's also things for Creative people, like I told you, painting, I'm not that creative, or take photographs. Uh, also, nowadays, video games are really popular too, so what hobbies do you enjoy? Now, many video games are for one person. You have to play, um, to play it alone, but the thing about these video games is you can make your own avatar. If you don't know what Avatar is, maybe you have played um, some sports video games that make you create your own um, your own version of yourself, but of a video game. That is an Avatar. So many games, even though you're playing individual, you have to cooperate and play together with your friends or other people online. It's about making many points as you can. So, the one who reaches score or get over in points with the other team or with the other person if you're playing alone, win. Um, the good things about uh, sports video games is that you may use controllers and you can see it yourself in, your, in the screen. So, talking about all of this, uh, let's move on, okay? We're seeing some vocabulary that it is hidden in the things I just say you. So let's check it out. Collect. Music band. Musical group. Creative. Take photos alone avatar compete point and the score Cooperate Controllers Screen Now about English expressions I'm going to show you five English expressions that have an action verb on it I believe you can spot the action verb So let's go with the first one Hang out well, hanging out means that you are going to relax and have fun with your friends or someone you like. You can hang out at the mall, at your friend's house, or at the park. So, hang out is a phrasal verb, so you must keep the words together. before, Because if you separate them, it will have a different meaning. So, keep sure to keep them together. Number two, catch some rays. Do you prefer the outdoors? Well, 
go, go outside and catch a few rays, enjoy the sunshine. At the beach, uh, the beach or the park is an ideal place to enjoy the sun with people you know. Another similar expression to catch some rays is to sunbath, which means to lie in the sun until you get tan. That, that means to make your skin go browner. Third one, shoot some hoops. Next time somebody asks you to go to the park and shoot some hoops, don't worry about it. They're just inviting you to play some basketball game. Well, if you prefer playing soccer, ask someone to go a kick around with you so you can play, as we know in Mexico, a little cascarita. Finally, number five, catch a flick. If your friends ask you to the cinema to catch a flick, they are asking you to see a movie with them. After that, you can also catch uh, the bus, catch a cab, or catch the metro if you need to go home. And if you don't take care, you might also catch a flu. Hang out with your friends. Catch some rays in the beach. Shoot some hoops. Go for a kick around. And catch a flick at the movies. So that is the topic for today guys. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you have fun and also I hope you have learned a lot. So next time we'll see, it's gonna be also this week. Remember to do your missions, send it to your email teachers and have fun. That's the most important thing. So I will see you on the next video.